uh, he is uh, representing the fifth district there, Congressman Andy Biggs. What's the uh, what's the outside temperature where you are? Uh, I should be at one oh five right now. One a a, a crisp <laughs> one oh five, but okay. it's okay because it's a dry heat. Allegedly, it's a dry heat. <laughs> um, Congressman it's Biggs, balmy, we, balmy. <laughs> balmy, balmy. Yes, uh, we have so much to discuss. Uh, you are on the Judiciary Committee. So much important stuff potentially coming out of the Director of National Intelligence. But I have to ask because I'm asking all of our guests the last twenty four hours and the media response to the President getting back to the White House just three days after leaving for Walter Walter read your response well it's been despicable of course uh they were hoping that you know they, they wanted him to die let's be honest with you i mean they, they some of them actually said it and if they didn't want him to die they thought it was some kind of hoax but the reality is they revealed them just to be what they are inhumane uh, they're just absolutely despicable. and we all should have been pulling together supporting the president no matter what you uh, persuasion was uh, on, on politics, but to do the, take the course that so many of them took is just absolutely uh, inhumane. I don't know what else you can say about it because uh, it was just disrespectful. Well, really was. Does this does this help the the Make America Great Again cause? Does it help the cause of Republicans and conservatives, or, or are they just used to the the just the, the deep inhumanity of the left and the mainstream media, Congressman? I think we've uh, grown a little bit uh, uh, blistered. We're a little bit scarred. I'm not sure that it's going to help, but I, I, I will tell you, I do believe that President Trump's going to win this thing. Um, and if you are just an objective human being and you love humanity, you love people, to see the way that they uh, reacted and the way that some of them are still reacting, you, you might be moved a little bit. But i got to tell you, uh, sort of, Sebastian, I think it's just very narrow, it's the people are undecided in this country. I think it's pretty much decided, except for maybe two or three, four percent. Yeah, I, I think uh, every election is one in the middle. But how many are left there right now? I think it's getting smaller and smaller. So tell us about the latest revelations and what we should be expecting uh, coming out of the intelligence community with the great Russia hoax of the last four years, Congressman Biggs. Well, the things you did, you did such a great job on this, Sebastian, as well. But I mean. Uh, we know that it was a hoax, those of us who were uh, working on this from the beginning. But what you're going to find is actually uh, the Obama administration at the highest levels, um, uh, including a briefing of President Obama, was that this was concocted by the Hillary Clinton team to uh, distract them, to distract uh, the law enforcement folks from going after her for her uh, uh basically her pilfered servers that's really what you, it's going to come out to and that's what it seems to be showing and um, looking for more of those documents uh, to really thoroughly review them but that's the summation that I'm getting and and your take on the fact that we are exactly four weeks away from the election and we have zero no indictments of key individuals from the Department of Justice when it comes to the subversion of the last election, are you dissatisfied with uh, that result? I am totally dissatisfied. Um, you and I and others who are working on this I, for over a year now, I probably heard, well, we're going to hear about it Friday. There'll be some indictments in a couple of weeks. There'll be some indictments in three weeks. It never happened. And uh, it makes me feel rather um, pessimistic that anything material will happen, even though uh the the evidence seems to be getting stronger and stronger that the actual collusion that was going on was of course what the democrats were engaged in because they always project because it's their mindset they believe everybody else is corrupt as they are so they project that on everybody else and the fact that we're not indicting these people it really becomes a uh, two-tiered system that most americans just don't want to put up with yeah, it's, uh, it seems as if Lady Justice has removed her blindfold and she is no longer impartial. A.G. Barr, we had high hopes of you. Those hopes are daily being undermined by the lack of results from your department. Follow this man right now representing Arizona's Fighting Fifth. He's Congressman Andy Biggs on Twitter, Rep. 
and the Biggs AZ. Thank you, Congressman.